I'm Manzur Ahmed and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and I'm into teaching field for past 18 years and into development for past 10 plus years. I have worked on almost all the technologies related to Microsoft web development, ASP.NET web forms, ADO.NET, SignalR, WCF, web APIs and currently you know I'm working on ASP.NET core MVC. I think most of you might have been following you know, my portal and my articles, video articles on YouTube and on Manzo the Trainer. Anyway, uh, in this course, we have you know, designed this course, keeping in our mind that whoever is joining this course, they know nothing. So everything I'm going to teach you from scratch. Like even what is integer I'm going to teach you, what is float from there, so everything from basic data types. In short, even if you do not know C programming language or you are being exposed to the world of web development for the first time, you should be in a position to get everything. That is what my intention behind designing this course. So let us have a walkthrough on what all we are going to do by the end of this course. This course is the complete ASP.NET Core 2.0 MVC with the live project. I'm Manzur Ahmed and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and this is my portal manzurthetrainer.com. So what can I do after completion of this course? So this, this might be the first question in your mind. One thing is job. Anyway, most of you are on job. So this is not our main intention. Our main intention is we should be in a position to develop any kind of web application. Similar to linkhub.manzurthetrainer.com. So this is our target. So by the end of this course, you will be in a position to develop any application similar to this. Similar in the sense, any kind of web application using ASP.NET Core MVC technology. So this portal is developed using ASP.NET MVC as your presentation layer or UI, c -sharp programming language as your business logic layer and entity framework as data access layer and SQL Server as backend. And for UI, we have used Bootstrap as well. You can see this. If I minimize the screen, you get a beautiful menu. So this is your Bootstrap. So on mobile devices, so we can call it as responsive design. So we have responsive design for forms and everything. So this portal is all about any guest coming to our portal, registering with us, and they are visiting our portal with an intention to share a link or share a URL with the world. So what do they need to do? They need to register first. So we have registration form. So we have all kind of validations here. User email, ID. So th these are all required fields. Hammer, hammer that one, two, three. Hammer that one, two, three. Now if I say create, now you see that it says user already exists with this email ID. So this is business rule validation. That means as per my business requirement, I cannot have two users with same email address. We have business rule validations as well. So now if I say Ahmed3 at gmail.com, now user created successfully. Now once they register, they can log in. Ahmed3 at gmail.com, Ahmed at 123. Now it says sign in. We get a link. I'll click on this. Now I can submit any URL. So I'll say test URL code project.com description something like you know, the category to which this belongs is technology now I'll say create so URL created successfully so once this URL has been created now this will reflect on the dashboard of admin and admin has rights to approve or reject it once admin approves it it will be available in browse URLs so this is a grid where you know I can export it to Excel PDF Word and I can sort as per any column ascending and descending and this is your custom sorting that means server side sorting which means what if you see we have 12 pages and 10 records on each page means 120 records it does not mean that I am getting all 120 record in a single record that will become heavy so in every request I am getting 10 records if I am on page 4 then I am getting page 4 10 records so uh, server side paging and server side sorting and all, all these things so we have done a lot of optimization for faster and the better application 
so a user can sign out if a user does not want to register and then submit the URL so a user is very busy and they don't want to do all those things so we have another option quick submit URL just they'll uh, register with their email address belongs to a particular category they can submit any URL and say create so as soon as they say this a user will be created with user email and that particular user will receive an email saying that this is your username and password for the portal and they'll submit this URL and this will reflect again on admin dashboard so anyway we have a lot of uh, things in this that we are going to understand everything from scratch like uh, getting the requirement then breaking the requirement into objects then identifying the relationship among the objects this is what you will be in a position to do so we have business object layer so we have all of our business objects then we will see its relationships then we have business logic layer we will see business logic layer and in business logic layer we are going to implement interfaces we also have data access layer we are going to use entity framework code first in this in MVC we are going to use the latest approach that is MVVM model and we also going to implement dependency injections we will also see identity server for security so a lot of things so this is what you will be in a position to do by the end of this course so you can architect any kind of project from scratch till and till delivery so this course is for those who want to become MVC web developer with a zero prayer programming language and this is also for those who are already working on ASP.NET web forms and want to upgrade their profile with ASP.NET MVC even they can take this course so what other things that we are going to cover in this we are going to cover Microsoft SQL Server 2017 then C sharp.net core entity framework 6 code first approach that is the latest approach HTML CSS JavaScript jQuery so these are the basic things so we are going to majorly cover ASP.NET core 2.0 MVC so these are the things and finally we are going to see a project or implement a real time project so basically this is our architecture you you might have heard about three layered or three tier architecture your backend will be microsoft sql server your data access will be entity framework core and your business logic layer will be c sharp and your ui will be mvc which will make use of html css or html5 css3 bootstrap jquery javascript we'll use all these things for our ui so that's why we are going to learn these technologies SQL Server, then we'll go for C Sharp, then we'll go for Entity Framework. Finally, we'll complete MVC. At the end, we'll see a project which involves all these technologies. So this is to have an idea like what fits where. Since we are learning, say we, are, we have started SQL Server. So why are we learning SQL Server and where does it fits in our project? So it fits at the back end so in this way we will proceed so the prerequisite just you need to know how to use the computer and should have internet connection if you basics of C programming language it is good if you have some basics of C programming language even if you do not know then there is no issue you need to have Microsoft SQL Server 2017 you can install it from here Express Edition which is free and the second software that you need is uh, Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition this is also free you can just download it and use it so that's it let us move towards our course.